at first glance, a city like any other. A striking cathedral dominating the skyline. Pavement terraces offering a permanent free sideshow. Shopping arcades with visitors from places over the borders. A busy mainline station. Yet, if you look further, a city with a difference, thanks to just one man, Dr. Anton Phillips. Because it is his legacy that has made Eindhoven a city unlike many others. The extensive Phillips complex dominates Eindhoven even more than the old cathedral and houses a whole variety of well-known and less well-known activities. Perhaps less well-known than it should be is the audio pilot factory, for it is here that a start is made on products which later become household words. Products such as the compact disc player, a revolutionary sound system using laser technology and digital audio recording techniques. Or the laser vision, the video long play record with its allied technology. As products become more complicated, so too does their production. That is why the pilot factory initiates a small scale pilot production designed to debug the production process for the IPCs. Problems are tackled here in a cost-efficient manner. When the IPCs start full-scale production, the problem level is, we hope, lower and therefore less costly than it would otherwise have been. All too often, we hear criticism that the pilot factory is situated in Eindhoven. Yet, it is the most logical place. It is, after all, in Eindhoven that new products are conceived. Philip's own special think tank, the research laboratories, or NAT Lab, is the generating force behind many of today's new products. Another generating force, situated near the permanent scientific exhibition in the Evoluon, is the Center for Technologies, the CFT. In addition, Eindhoven is a conglomeration of highly developed skills and technologies. And if a pilot factory is to be effective, it must have easy access to specialized knowledge. What's more, the staff of the pilot factory can help you find your way through this maze of sophistication, so that IPC problems can be solved quickly and correctly. At the moment, Two major product prototypes are under evaluation. In the compact disc lab, the Philips developed industry norm for digital replay systems is being debugged. While in the laser vision lab, the solid state laser video record system is also under analysis. Close cooperation is maintained by representatives of the IPC, the pilot factory, and the lab involved. In the laser vision lab, tests are also being conducted into new loading systems for the players. In the pilot factory, the mirror sub-assembly for the laser vision optical system, which demands considerable accuracy, is carefully mounted. The sub-assembly is then exhaustively tested for both sensitivity and resonance frequency. When the complete optical deck assembly is ready, it is subjected to a series of tests against production specifications on a specially designed jig.
random samples are subjected to further tests against the specifications by members of the Quality Assurance Group. It goes without saying that the Audio Pilot Factory is fully equipped for modern printed circuit production. Here, the components for the sophisticated laser vision electronics are inserted before being soldered in a special bath which can handle boards of various dimensions. Extensive measuring of new products is essential and the pilot factory has developed a sophisticated computer-based measuring system for this purpose. The various products are then transported to the assembly and final alignment areas. Following alignment, the product is measured yet again and the resulting data is stored for further future analysis. All products produced in the Audio Pilot Factory are submitted to a 24-hour burn-in period. Here again, the Quality Assurance Group select random samples for exhaustive inspection. Finally, reliability is assured by a series of life tests involving mechanical, electronic, optical and thermal tests before the laser vision players are given final approval. In the compact disc player test production, the optical components are first tested by the incoming material inspection group for wave front distortion. analysis of products, but also of new technologies such as automatic chip mounting are undertaken by the pilot factory. The solid state laser for the compact disc player is fully tested on a 100% production basis. Other sub-assemblies and components for the player are checked against specifications before final assembly. Another activity of the Audio Pilot Factory is work for the application of a video long play system called Institutional Laser Vision. The system is computer controlled and offers the advantages of view data. This has been nothing more than a short glimpse behind the screens as it were of the Audio Pilot Factory. but other possibilities are also available. In fact, the expertise and know-how is extensive and can be put completely at your disposal, whether for advice, for help, or for solutions. The Audio Pilot Factory, your intermediate in know-how exchange.